Michaela Peterson, like many other people, has struggled with God in the last couple years. Although recently she made an update about her relationship with God and she made some great comments. Let's take a look. How is your current relationship with God? That's an intense question. I don't know. I think it's good. I think there's more that I could be doing. I think that's a really common take for anyone who's a new Christian and really for anybody who's an experienced Christian too. We want to make sure that we're doing the right thing, and sometimes we don't think that we're doing enough. I think it's a clear sign that she's concerned with the decision that she made to follow God, which is a good thing. She cares about it. She wants it to go correctly. But for her, and for anyone else with the same scenario, I'd like to suggest that you don't let it get to you. If you read Galatians, you see plenty of verses that indicate works being done as a result of being a changed person. The fruits of the Spirit manifest on the person who follows Jesus, but God is the one that sustains all of us through it. So it's by his power and his power alone that we get these things done, not our own power. As I've heard many times from my friends and family, I do my best and God does the rest. I stopped waking up as early and then I stopped reading the Bible in the morning. So I should work on that because I did feel better reading the Bible more. Jesus himself knew scripture was good for teaching, reproving, and bringing people up righteously. But there is something to be said for those who aren't Christians not understanding what it is that we're doing. Of course, this doesn't make the Christians superior to anyone else, but both Proverbs and 1 Corinthians echo the idea of right understanding when they say, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him, and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. The Bible makes you feel better because well, it's a direct link to better understanding the God who created this universe, and he always brings peace with him. So there you go. Seems weird, you know, to all you people who aren't Christian. That sounds strange. It was strange to me too. It's still strange to me. I don't know how it works exactly, but it makes me feel better. Christianity is a strange religion, and it always has been. Of all the religions that have ever existed, it's unique among them because instead of having God be something that you reach to or you try to attain, he comes down to us and meets all of us at our own level. C.S. Lewis might help you understand why it's still strange to us even as believers though. Imagine yourself as a living house. God comes in to rebuild that house. At first, perhaps, you can understand what he is doing. He is getting the drains right and stopping the leaks in the roof and so on. You knew that those jobs needed doing and so you were not surprised. But presently, he starts knocking the house about in a way that hurts abominably and does not seem to make sense. What on earth is he up to? The explanation is that he is building quite a different house from the one you thought of. Throwing out a new wing here, putting on an extra floor there, running up towers, making courtyards. You thought you were going to be made into a decent little cottage but he is building a palace. He intends to come and live in it himself. I'm trying to go with the flow. So if things don't work out that I want to work out, I'm thinking, well, maybe that's not meant to be. Maybe God doesn't want that for me. Very smart, as usual. As C.S. Lewis indicated, life isn't always the way that we think it's gonna go. God has different plans for us and who are we to correct him? God often takes away bad things and we cheer when those happen. But sometimes he takes away good things too, and those are puzzling. Because you could be doing something that's just wonderful and you think it's great, but God takes it away. The reason is because he has a different plan for you and he's gonna make you better in some other way. Moses might very well have liked shepherding in Midian. I mean, he did it for 40 years after all, and it was good for him for all that time, but it was useless in his quest to try and free the Israelites from Egypt. So it had to go. So I've been trying to operate like that and it's been good for me, I think, because I like to exert a level of control over everything that isn't good for me or the things around me. And so I've let that go a little bit. If she's made a decision to follow Christ, then she's already given up control of the biggest decision that will ever affect her, which is salvation. Everything else to that, no matter what it is, is peanuts. We get to have control over certain things because God lends them to us. He makes us his stewards over those things. He might make us powerful, really powerful, and controlling of lots of things like King David, but at the end of the day, God is the one who owns all of it, and it's a really good thing to give him back the controls. I think so far, Michaela's relationship with God is a pretty solid one, but if you want to see what it's like to have a very strange and very unbiblical relationship with God, 
then check out this video over here. I'll see you next time.